Hello, you are in the Hen House on T Radio V. I am Adam Klesh, and I am sitting here with Luke Nero. Hello, welcome back <laughs> after a very long weekend. Very long weekend. And Aaron Elvis. Hi, what's going on? Hi. You two had a very long weekend. I I Ooh. didn't. I know much of a I had a great weekend. I threw a, a really huge pool party on the weekend at the Standard Hotel in Hollywood, which yeah. was kind of fantastic. I was at gay person rehearsal. Oh, wow. what's a what's a gay person rehearsal? Uh, there is an event that happens with anonymity uh -huh. in the desert, uh, <laughs> and at said anonymous event, uh -huh. f for all gay men, uh, they put on a musical oh, that's with right. a gigantic large budget, actually. It's, it's Broadway-esque. Um, so I was rehearsing for that on Sunday. Is it gay men running around in the desert in the nude? Is it one of those kinds of I, retreats? It's yeah, it's white party. <laughs> it's white party for all the people who decided to get off the drugs they were addicted to. Oh, <laughs> oh that's fun. Huge. Apparently that it's weekend huge. is bigger than anything else. It's huge. It sells. Huge. It sells out. Yeah, it's, it's huge. Yeah. yeah, it's a lot of fun. I, this this is my. It third gets or a bit debaucherous year. too, right? Mm -hmm. I hear. Yeah. Yeah, absolutely. More so. With within the lines of sanity, debaucherous. Okay, who does that fun. party, by the way? Who throws that party? Uh, it's it's a it's a committee. It's a committee. A, yeah, it's a committee because it's not an event. It's a okay. You know, it's it's for my special group. Okay. Right. Wink. <laughs> <laughs> oh, too funny. What special group was that? <laughs> but Luke's party, you missed Luke's party. It was really, really, really fun. Yeah, it was called "You Can't Swim with Us." Um, it was a success, although the bars were a bit strenuous at times, and a I was wee bit. Yeah. flapping my arms around, screaming at people. I um, but uh, it w the party was a huge success. So, yeah. You know. Yeah. I mean, I saw all the photos, and it's funny. Literally, I t I text my boyfriend uh, as soon as I saw the photos. I was at work, and I was like, "Get my fucking gym bag." put it at the foot of the bed because I'm either going tonight or tomorrow morning. And he goes, why the sudden burst? And I said, I saw all the pictures of Luke's pool party and they're all hot, gorgeous men. He goes, babe, you're sexy. I said, it's not that. It's the fact that I wouldn't be comfortable dressed the way they're dressed. Literally, and I, was, I, I used was, to I be. I was mortified. I, just had to I was a cow. I just had to, to surrender that everybody had eight packs and I was like, Happy, we had to be happy with two. Did we get so photos from the party? Did we give Jake photos? From yeah, we did. I think so. Oh, yeah. Oh, well, there's yeah, there we go. Yeah, okay. Luke. Luke. There's Luke. Uh huh. Looking pretty. Mm. Just, I mean, <laughs> it's a little, it's a little, I mean, it's a little tweaked in post. I won't the, lie. Oh, wait, there's Dean the, and. Oh, yeah, there you go. There's you the party. That was the yeah, party. That was the party. The bodies were. Oh, yeah. I, I yeah. went through every single one yeah. of. It said Luke posted this and that 81 photos. I went through all 82 photos and I was crying into my bowl of cookie dough. Yeah. <laughs> I'm wearing a moo moo to the next one. <laughs> Perfect. <laughs> Actually caftans are very in this summer, so oh, I might really? just wear a nice big flowing yeah. caftan. Um have you noticed on your tables that we have coffee? We I are did notice you, you brought us a present. Uh, we are sponsored by coffee today. It is let me get the facts right, low acid, stomach friendly. I'm trying one. Uh, cold brewed, alkaline water, dairy free, vegan, organic, fair trade coffee beans, gluten free, soy free, nut free. So Oh my god! And completely delicious. So it's yeah. coffee without the fun. Yeah, it's correct. And it's uh, k o f f e e reinvented dot uh -huh. And it's about to evolve into an alcoholic version as well. Oh, so wonderful! So like a Kahlua and a Bailey's. Correct. Oh, that's fun. Yeah. Jake, do you drink coffee at all? Uh, do you want a black or a cream? I'll save you one. Black. The I'll black. save you a black coffee. You can yeah. have it at the break. Once that's you go black. That's exciting. <laughs> so sip on that. Generally. I got uh, com you know. Uh, not that you guys care, but you've been to my house and whatnot. I got completely all new furniture. You did. Um, you got rid of that couch. It's the, where it, it's up for sale. Okay. Because um, you know my man's such like a scrounger. We've got to you know we can't just throw it on the lawn and schedule a pickup. Someone's got to buy it because right. we can spend that money on his shoes. We got a new roommate who I absolutely love. His name's Charlie, and Charlie came with gorgeous gay man furniture. So now we have this gigantic long couch that's got the um, the section on it that you. Can lay on all that stuff. What are you getting rid of? The leather sofa is going. Uh huh. Um, Says the bargain in me, who's like sniffing around for something. <laughs> the sniffing around, <laughs> sniffing around for all those um, fabulous coffee tables. That Some you of have. the bookshelves might go. Uh -huh. uh, the, the fabulous coffee tables stay. I'm sorry. <laughs> oh, wait, no. wait, 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 the fifteen thousand oh, dollar no. coffee table. Oh. The coffee table is kind of everything. Adam has the most beautiful coffee table. Oh yeah, they're amazing. Yeah, we know. Oh, this is good. It's yes. really good. It's good. It's yeah. like um. It's like a flavored ice cream or gelato yeah. or something. Uh -huh. That's yeah. really nice. Can you imagine the alcoholic version? They're going to be amazing. Yeah, oh can you God. imagine? <laughs> I saw. Uh, I, I can imagine. You have to shake them well. Sorry. To I don't know I did, the I truth. Okay, um, I, uh, I saw Mad Max. I'm catching up with you guys. Oh, I saw Mad good. Max. Uh, I loved it. It is very much a video game. Kind of, yeah. I, I would, like you said last week, I would not recommend seeing it not in 3D. Right. I saw it not in 3D, and oh. it was still good. 
Oh, see, in 3D was it. Well, ah, I, did I you pick up see the Australian undertones there? Just a few. <laughs> Just a few. Speaking, what, speaking of Australian, we do have a guest coming mm. in today. Oh, we do have. We, we have a Tasmanian devil. Yeah, he's lovely. Yeah. Yeah. She, she real cute. Mm. He's a, uh, <laughs> she real cute. She <laughs> real cute. Um, we should get him to take his clothes off. Um, <laughs> I'm taking this right in Howard Stern land. <laughs> Duh. Um, just, just to marvel at what a lot of cardio and fame can get you. And it's a body that you can go to a Luke Nar- uh, Nero party with. Yeah. <laughs> That's what it gets you. Um, <laughs> I, uh, so who's our guest? Our, our guest is our <laughs> guest is Lockie Brownlee, who is a Ow. Katy Perry dancer currently, and um, I, I, I beyond being amaz- amazingly talented, outrageously talented, because I've I've seen the shows and whatnot. He's just the sweetest guy. Yeah, he's so sweet and down to earth and fun, and it's a breath of fresh air in West Hollywood with the bodies we run into. Because anyone's gorgeous, you know in an Instagram selfie. I love that you call them bodies like they're a bunch of zombies <laughs> walking around. <laughs> Which is kind of some true. Are, some yes, are. It's kind of true. This is not one. No. He's in good. any way, shape, or no. form. Yeah, but he'll be he'll be on after the break. Yeah. Um, before we go to the break, though, I have to... We can talk about it with... I don't know if Lockie's seen or not. I haven't asked him. Uh, and I'm going to screw up the title. Frank and Gracie? Frankie and Gracie? Grace and Frankie. Grace and Frankie. Yeah. Lily Tomlin. Yeah. Lily Tomlin. Uh, Jane I haven't Fonda, watched it yet. Right? I get you haven't watched it yet? No, I get told oh, to watch it. I, I just you. started. It is so good. It doesn't start good, but it gets better. So if you think it's good now, it'll get that much better. And and the kids have gay dads in their 60s and 70s. Yeah. Ding, ding, ding. Yeah. <laughs> Me too. I was like, I totally don't relate to this because they have a mansion in Malibu. I did see them celebrate that they're already doing the second s- yeah. season. Yeah, yeah. So congrats on that. So yeah. awesome. meaning I have to catch up and you know get my shit together. It's amazing to me how good both of them look. I mean, I know they both had work done. Jane Fonda is uh, uh, it's uh, uh, crazy. Amazing. Yeah. yeah, she's fantastic. This is really good. This coffee. <laughs> yeah, it's addictive. Yeah, it's really good. I'm uh-huh. curious if it, it gets is. rid of the headache. Because uh, Luke said he was bringing in a caffeinated surprise, so I didn't drink coffee all day, and I had a well, it's real caffeinated. Headache. So drink both bottles. So. Well, I got, I'm gonna give Jake one. <laughs> it's okay, gonna be like good. being on crack. And notice they're in medicinal bottles too, which is very cute. Yeah, that's how Jägermeister started, and now everybody's puking on their tubes and forgetting their names. Perfect. Oof. <laughs> Pretty. Leave it to the good old Americans to turn a medicinal product into an alcoholic beverage, mm. getting every college student laid across the state. <laughs> Perfect. <laughs> All right, well, I think we're going to send it out to a break here. Enjoy some new music that Aaron has for us. Um, and then when we come back to continue our L.A. Pride episode, mm-hmm. we are going to have uh, gay dancer of fame and Katy Perry, uh, Lockie Brownlee. P.S. I really like your, um, your uh, Stephen Perry gay pride thing. That you oh, have my uh, uh, scarf. Yeah. Should have been gone. You are so It's a little more, a little more Aerosmith. That's what, oh, did I, I said Stephen Perry? I said Stephen Perry. You said Stephen Perry. Oh, that's all right. God. <laughs> Shows I'm <laughs> not straight uh, I am. <laughs> all right, let's listen to some music that Aaron brought in for us. We'll send it out to commercial here. You ready, B? You ready, E? Scotty. Break it down. Girl, I must warn you. I sense something strange in my mind. The situation is serious. Let's cure it, cause we're running out of time. It's all so beautiful. Relationships, they seem from the start. But it's all so deadly. When love is not together from the heart. It's driving me out of my Brad is actually here right now. <laughs> I don't have the white disease. What's Whoa! 
Give it to me okay. again. I want to see like some tiny intro. Got, got give me some boom. Got, give me some it. boom, bro. This is going to make us money. Ask Robert who his favorite celebrity animals are. Okay. His <laughs> animal lovers. Exactly. All right, everybody, whip your out. out. Everybody, oh. whip it out. We'll be right back. See, now it's just. Let's do a couple things. Ready? Action. Oh, baby monsters. Birds. Monsters. <laughs> you. <laughs> Oh, that means me. Take it. It's God, take you're the unreal mind. To be honest with you, I like being down there a little more because my head was. <laughs> Candy corn monsters, boom! Hi, I'm Kristen Renton, and I don't know what I'm saying. We're just world, world animal. Right? And here we go. Oh, I'll just. <gasps> I'm real. It's not a real wall. <laughs> I mean, unless you fake it. I had a contest on night calls, and they were all peeing everywhere. Everyone's like, can I get another Diet Coke? <laughs> yeah. We want to do more. Take precaution before I start to meet a fly girl. Because in some portion, you'll think she's the best. Here we go. Welcome back to the hen house. I have this little Aussie creature called Lockie Branley sitting in the studio with us today. Ow. Hey, bitch. Hi, <laughs> <laughs> Not much. Just getting ready for Pride this weekend. You're off tour now, correct? Yes. All right. right. So yes. give us the, give us the story of the last tour. Where were you? All that other stuff the, for the people that don't know. So the Prismatic World Tour went everywhere you could possibly think of. Um, we started in uh, May 2014, and we have just finished in May 2015. Um, and yeah, we just kind of went everywhere. We we didn't really have much time. You know, we had time off during the during the time, like in the little cities and stuff. But it was kind of two years of um, well, because we had promo before that. Yeah, but I mean, you don't ever want to go out when you're in those little cities. You're exhausted. Oh my god, no! Just and some of them, uh, you've been, well, you've been with Katie long enough. I mean, some of these cities, it's your third, fourth, fifth time. Yeah, in, right? yeah, yeah. So you do. You kind of get. You know, you kind of think things are familiar. You're you like, know, oh, this so. is my favorite noodle shop. This yeah. is my favorite hooker corner. Yeah. This is well, you know. it's funny because it's the it's the venues that you recognize the most because that's kind of the most you know, time you spend there is at the venue. So you walk in, you're like, oh, I remember that. You're, you're like, oh, this place that, has a know? shitty bathroom. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, like all these, you know, these old things. Because, I mean, you literally go from, like, airport to hotel to venue to hotel to airport. Yeah, well, and we spend time on the tour bus as well. So the tour bus is, you know, a massive decked-out bus with couches and bunks and kitchen and everything, really. True or false, I heard it is a rockin' party kind of tour. Oh, I mean, we, we have fun. Like, you know, it's... Yeah, we have, we, have, we have a great time. We've been together with, for each other with so long now, so it's we kind of know exactly what who we are with each other, you know? So we, we have a great time, and it's really fun. Now, you're the cover boy this month on Instinct's Pride issue. Yeah. It's, it's not your first time with them, right? Haven't you been in Yeah, Instinct? no, no, first time. Oh, first yeah. time, okay. Mm -hmm. I'm just, you know, when I do a Google search for you, there's so many <laughs> images. It's just... So are you headhunted for that? How do they... Do they just call you up and say, oh, I'm well, just going to throw you on? Well, the photographer, the photographer Brooke Mason, who um, I had never worked with. She's an Australian uh, lady that mm -hmm. lives here in L.A. And um, So she, many of you here. I know, there's so many of us here. And we look out for each other as well. We do. So she contacted mm. me, and um, she was just... <laughs> <laughs> in more ways than one. <laughs> <laughs> um, but she just was, you know, it was said I have a great opportunity. She contacted me on my Instagram, so it was very, you know, open. <laughs> and um, I, you know, emailed her and was like, Hi, what's what's up? <laughs> what's the opportunity? And then she was, you know, a photographer for Instinct, and they were looking for uh, someone who was openly comfortable with their sexuality and, you know, successful and whatnot to be on the cover. Cover, and um, she suggested me. So that's kind of how it. Well, I, I will um, I will applaud Instinct for their choice of the cover because I have never picked up an Instinct magazine in my life, mm -hmm. and because you were on the cover. I asked oh. you to come on the show, uh -huh. and because you were on the cover and coming on the show, I picked up an Instinct magazine. It. It's actually pretty well done. There's some rather yeah. interesting articles. I don't want to say pretty well done. It's well done. <laughs> that makes it sound like, well, could be better. I'm not a writer. I, I talk for a living. Um, not even that. Um, but the articles are really good. It's a really interesting magazine. Well, for um, the, the audience, it's, it's, a, it's designed for a broader spectrum. It's yeah. not like revolved around a section of the gay community in one city. It's like... You mean like this city? <laughs> mm-hmm. Like I won't... Oh, you know, I won't... <laughs> just about to name that magazine, <laughs> but I better not. 
<laughs> is it LA based? Was Instinct <laughs> LA based or is where's it no, from? No, it's like a national m- publication. Yeah. I mean, it's, it's America's number one. Yeah, game, it's a national oh. publication. Yeah. Wow, yeah. that's yeah. huge. I did my research. Yeah, you. Yeah. So I want to go. I want to go through for some people it might be the boring facts, but for you, literally, you have a gay following that's ridiculous. Yes. Like since you've come out as like out proud professional dancer, like you're at a certain level. You're not just you know you're not making your own music videos in your basement. Like you're you're <laughs> on a certain level. You have gotten this huge following. So uh, hopefully some of them are watching. Hopefully anyone is out there listening <laughs> and watching. Um, sometimes I feel like it's Wayne's World in here. Um, you started dancing as a child, outdoing your older sisters. Yes. <laughs> I, got, I think I got a text message from dad when he read the article and he was like, oh, I don't think your sisters will be proud to have that out there in the magazines. I'm like, oh. And then you were noticed now. by a family friend. Yeah, so our family friend, next door neighbor, um, Christine, she was a dance teacher also. Um, and our families were very close, you know, with each other. So we kind of, you know, we spoke a lot, obviously, as neighbors. And um, yeah, I mean, when you have this kid that's too jumping around, like, uh, Highland dancing was. You were like something snapping to the beats at two. Snap, She's snap, like, snap. Oh, <laughs> no, she even, drops even, her diaper. Think, even gayer than that. I mean, our family was very heavily into the Scottish dancing, so my sisters would do Scottish dancing with the kilts and the whole thing and everything. And that's jumping around on one leg a lot of the time with one arm up in the air. So I was around the house, one arm up in the air, leg like attached to my knee somehow, a petticoat because the dancing mothers bought me a petticoat, like a little you know dress. Yeah. And I was jumping around up Why and down we have that to the beat. Photo. <laughs> Would you get in a petticoat for us now? I mean, it might be on my phone. Someone, bring, <laughs> someone bring me a petticoat. <laughs> it's throwback Thursday picture. <laughs> it might come out one. <laughs> so yeah, so I was always jumping around and like, you know, I knew the beat. I knew when it was music would stop. I knew like the counts and my, you know, our next door neighbor was like, you know, this is not just a rare occasion. He's got some kind of talent. And she was a dance instructor. <laughs> yeah, she was a dance instructor, a dancer when she was young. So she, you know, she knew. She had connections with all the dance schools in Tassie. It was... Now, what, what's, the tr- what's the truth and what's the uh, good writing in the article? Because mm-hmm. from that point in time, it, it makes it seem like you just come off with this, you know, ferocious ability to dance. And, like, you're 15 and in Sydney. <laughs> it was like he, he excelled and demanded more. And we had dance teachers from all around the world. And let's remind everybody that Sydney's the New York of Australia. So that's, oh, okay. so that's where all the country kids go to mm-hmm. to make it big, right? Mm-hmm. So then, when, then when you've made it big there, you've got to get the hell out of the country. Yeah. That's so. the... Uh, <laughs> That's yeah. the get off. Wow. That's, that's the, the get off. No, it's the truth. Yeah. That's for Aaron and I, the get off the bus with the three bucks, two bags, one me. Very much. Yeah. yeah. The hand. Yeah. Like, in New York. Yeah. 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 yeah, yeah. It's totally it's true. Like, yeah. Bright lights, big city. Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. 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 Just like Cleveland, Ohio. <laughs> <laughs> no? No? That was a shout out. Hi, mom. <laughs> um, they won a Tony this year. Cleveland did, they, yeah. Yeah. They won the um, Cleveland Public Playhouse or yeah. Cleveland Public Theater. I don't know. Cleveland Public Playhouse. Didn't they have the uh, Gay Olympics there too? Yeah, in Akron. Don't people in Akron do not want you to think that Cleveland right. had the Gay Olympics? Right. Really? Yeah, and Cleveland yeah. didn't want to host the Gay Olympics. They're very, very different cities. Such an odd city to host it. I know. It's like, so odd. I really think, odd. Well, I think like they, they couldn't find a gay city. We're gonna city have it in Sheboygan, Wisconsin. Well, this well San Francisco <laughs> couldn't host the <laughs> one. No, I don't no here's it. the point. They literally do it like the actual Olympics and the World Cup. They do it for a city that could utilize the popularity of hosting such an event. For instance, like a city that's already so gay, they don't need it. You know, there's like um, when they host the Olympics, the election committee picks a city that could prosper from hosting. So Akron was, you know, on the verge of becoming a big Midwestern open gay city. So they thought, oh, boom, perfect. And literally, they're, um, uh, I, not to sound like I'm from the 1900s, their migration mm-hmm. rate has upped because of the Gay Olympics. It was huh. fantastic. Nice. That's enough about the Midwest. See what we do for cities. <laughs> wow. So then, mm-hm. you, so then okay. as a Bring story. Bring people in, clean them up. <laughs> clean them up. Clean them up, shine them up, mm-hmm. ship them out. That's right. That's what we do. So when did, you, when did you, what was the transition between Sydney and the U.S.? Um, 2010. Did you just hop on a plane? No, so I just finished Wicker the Musical in Melbourne for uh, 15 months. I was doing that uh, wonderful show. And then afterwards, I just wanted to, I I needed a change. I kind of thought that I'd done everything in Sydney or done everything in Australia. There's, you know, musicals are massive in Australia, which was great. Mm -hmm. And then, you know, the commercial side of things is, you know, there's, there's a few jobs here and there, but you know, you can kind of cover it all very quickly. So I went on a little holiday to LA, to this big place, and um, with some girlfriends of mine, and we were just here taking class. Debbie Reynolds, very like, you know, ooh, this is exciting. Um, (laughs) Debbie Reynolds, who we talked about last week. (laughs) (laughs) And then uh, an agency, MSA, 
um, we're having an audition and I was like, oh, great, like an American audition. I'm like, I wonder what that's going to be like. Fame, you so know, many thousands accents. of people. <laughs> just like I had like, I they speak so slowly. <laughs> they do so many things. Um, so I went along and next minute they were asking to represent me. So an MSA kind of is snowball. huge. Yeah. MSA is huge. Yeah. 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 And they yeah. hadn't auditioned people in like years, like three years. So there was literally like 500 people there and wow. I think they only took like 12. So it so was the odds were stacked against you. you. And I had no idea. They had no like idea who I was. I had no idea. Like I knew who they were, but, you know, like, I was uh, random. Mm. So, yeah. Thank God you were. And then eight months later, I was living here on a visa and happily ever after. I do have a correction note. Uh, my mother, our, uh, <laughs> our far exec producer, said the gay games were in Cleveland and Akron. There were, <laughs> right. okay. yeah, mm. the, I guess they bust the host cities. And that Cleveland has a new favorite Aussie. Deli is his nickname. Him and LeBron are taking us to the finals. My mom is there an Aussie on the on the Cleveland Cavaliers? Really? I guess there's an Aussie. There's a lot of Aussie basketball. Forgive players. my homosexuality. Can you two explain that to me? Who was the last famous Luke? Mm. Someone? Oh, I don't know. There's a ton of Australians yeah. in the NBA right now. Well, there's a ton of Australians in the U.S. in general. Yeah. There's uh, 22,000 in New York. We're right up there with Mexicans, apparently, because <laughs> the Americans really? are over us taking their, their jobs. jobs. Yeah, they really are. They really. Mm. There was a whole Huffington Post article on it, and there's nineteen thousand. Like we um, could have a Australian good American co wow. Yeah. <laughs> so nineteen thousand in LA alone. So that's a lot. That's, that's a, a lot. lot. A lot. Yeah. That's a lot. And we we come over here for the most part with some kind of education. So we we literally just hit the market. We just hit the job market. You that know what I mean? We're not like scrounging around let me ask so does this so that, feel does you know. la feel a little bit more like sydney or like <laughs> and i ask this no, because it, it's warm and and there's you it know does, yeah. yeah yeah i I, yeah. I when i you know tell people what it's like the comparison i definitely say yeah like sydney and la vibe and the new york and melbourne vibe like that's kind of climate you know, wise yeah climate wise and even the yeah. people i think in melbourne with the people in like new york people are very like new york yes new york new york and melbourne people are very Proud. Melbourne proud, you yeah. know, so I kind of... Well, they have Melbourne housewives now, so... I mean, they're real I, I mean, <laughs> so I, I, a Sydney woman would not do that. <laughs> <laughs> but at, at, the, at the risk of sounding ethnocentric, you could never do in Australia what you've done here, correct? Mm. I don't mean to sound like an egotistical American. No. You're, no. Not, you're not getting on a world tour or meeting these pop icons no. or these no. movie makers. No. No. I mean, that you have to be here for that to happen. And Absolutely. sometimes even just L.A. Yeah. I well, mean, there's certain things you can't do in L.A. You have to be in New York. Yeah. For. Well, I came when I came to L.A., I was like just coming to check it out. And my agency was I just gone to New York to, you know, my second part of the trip. And the agency was like, OK, so when can you come in? I was like, well, I'm in New York at the moment. Can I just go and meet with the New York office? And they're like, well, it doesn't really work like that. <laughs> like, you oh, have really? to like there's no transfer. No, oh. we have to like, what do you want to be in New York or in L.A.? And I was like, oh, God, like I haven't really thought about it that much, but. I guess you know everything that I wanted to do, which was a commercial ba commercial based stuff, was in LA. So, is it because there are more theater dancers there than? Yeah, yeah, yeah. New York is like you know theater and contemporary and companies and all right. that kind of right. stuff. Um, and here it's that kind of yeah. But these cities are like last stop, even for anybody. Like it's like if you want to be a movie star, like LA is your last stop. There's no sometimes yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. For the most part, you know, it's like because now they're taking more movie stars are now coming out of. Broadway, they're more Broadway oh, they're people. Out of the yeah, right. right. Like it used to be way back when. Right. Yeah. Well, I mean, he knows about Broadway too. He was on the Wicked tour. Yeah. Yeah. Katy Perry. Yeah. yeah. What's the di what What is the difference like for that? Other than people who take themselves probably way too seriously mm -hmm. on a Broadway tour mm -hmm. versus people on a concert tour, mm -hmm. I would think. I would think it's a lot more fun on a concert. Totally. Tour. Well, you know, in a musical, you have you have to stick by the book. You have to stick by the script, and everything is. You know, people are coming to see the show that they know is going to be the show, you know, it's going to be the show in every single part yeah, of the world. Yeah, but don't you have Katy Perry people who go to like every fucking yeah, city and they're yeah, like, oh, this is my favorite part when she gets on the cloud. And you're totally. Like, oh, yeah, you yeah, yeah. But I think it's more of like, you know, you can have it, she can kind of, if she kind of like, you know, does some fun things and we kind of react to that, it's not as like serious as if, you know, you're in the wicked and it's kind of like, what is she doing? You're just doing like, yeah. pick so up talking about, or something. Talking about sticking to the script. So what was the deal with that whole shark incident? On oh, the Super Bowl, yeah. I think we've got a video a of him in the that? Super Bowl. And uh, <laughs> who was the crazy shark? Was it you? Or no, the other one? Shark. No, no. Let's um, I, we're gonna we're gonna let Jake play the video. Uh, we'll go out to break with the Super Bowl video, and then uh, we'll come back and we'll have Lockie tell us all about the Super Bowl. You are in the Ooh, hen house on T Radio V, sponsored by Bartend and Coffee. <laughs>
All right. You are back in the hen house on T Radio V. Uh, sponsored by Bar 10 West Hollywood. You can see them at www.bar10wehocom They are our Pride and Fourth of July sponsors. Uh, it's a wonderful little bar in West Hollywood, California. Um, cheap prices, great food, and uh, a wonderful uh, amount of crafted cocktails. Uh, so go visit them. they got a pool table and everything. It's free, and it's, uh, it's a good place to be. We want to thank them for being our monthly sponsor along with coffee. So we just saw the uh, Katy Perry Super Bowl, uh, Super Bowl video, and the uh, New England Patriots went on to beat the Seattle Seahawks. <laughs> That's the part I remember. Uh, did you guys watch? Did you watch any of the games? Wait, did there was a care? game? No, we didn't really <laughs> there was watch much going on there was a game that introed into the Katy Perry performance (laughs) and there was a game as you were filing out of the Katy Perry what was the energy like in that stadium oh my god it was crazy well I I knew that the Super Bowl was big I think because of being a dancer and as a dancer you know you you mean everyone wants to do the Super Bowl performance but I didn't know it was that big you know I got there like the three days or the four days before rehearsing (laughs) the security checks the passes the this the that like everything was just intense so I think I was shocked by that. And then obviously like having, you know, the like it was, it was just beautiful, like so like big and the lights in their hands and it was just amazing. It was an amazing like atmosphere. But you know, it was very loud down there. So it was, it's always hard to hear kind of like what the audience is really like, I guess yeah. if you were probably sitting in the audience, you know, because right, right. we've got speakers blaring in our ears. So it was awesome. It was really good. We've got uh, viewers in uh, New York that in Long Island actually that can't get to a newsstand to pick up an Instinct magazine will Lockie take his shirt off <laughs> <laughs> he is that? you are becoming <laughs> Howard Stern hold on the other one says my god I need a wet nap <laughs> <laughs> and my mother oh. says Jan taped all the Jane Fonda and Lily Tomlin show I could have written this shit I'm starting to feel like Letterman's mom <laughs> wow She's on it. She I is on mom. it. Mom. She's on it. <laughs> can mom, we give Can we give him a little peek? Mom is can we give the people it. at home a little peek? I don't think he ate today, so it's perfect. Jesus Christ! Not if I tried. <laughs> I your mio. I'm sh- gonna do mine now. <laughs> <laughs> that shirt is currently you washing don't itself. Want that. <laughs> is that enough? <laughs> Wash, yeah, it's, but it's, it's more than enough. I think you can get instinct online too. You can. <laughs> you can. Yeah, yeah. You, can uh, you can call yeah. into T Radio V at eight five five. TRV in LA. That's eight five five eight seven eight four six five two, and talk to Lockie. Call us um, you, now. Here's something I want to get into. You guys are Australian, mm-hmm. um, and they are about to put gay marriage up for a vote in Australia, um, which I I I guess it's a lot like our state of Colorado. You just kind of assume. They well, I'm had really it. surprised it's just one of those places. Our prime minister is mm. probably the worst we've had in yeah. a long time. A long so time. so I'm really surprised that that's even coming up. Now, was she like against it? Against no, it, or was she, she just kind of like, I'm just not going to do it because no one wants it? Oh, no, the woman's out. The guy. It's a guy. It's okay. a guy now. So um, what's his name? But I was talking about yeah. when she yeah, was Tony, there. Yeah, Tony. When she was. She like very conservative. She was a lesbian. She her, was great. She was a lesbian. Her, she was great, right? Her husband was a hairstylist. <laughs> a gay hairstylist. <laughs> she was like, was like Michelle Liza Bachman. And, and, uh, just like Michelle Bachman so or he Liza. was like the first lady. A better hairstyle. Can you imagine? It was, New York City. <laughs> it was too good to be true, it really. It was too good to be true, yeah. <laughs> wow. Yeah, wow. But no, Tony Abbott's uh, sister is a lesbian. Prime Minister Tony Abbott's sister mm-hmm. is a lesbian. So um, he already had to face that on a public level anyways. Right. Um, but I guess it's, yeah, finally. Yeah, that's good. Coming up for... <laughs> Yeah. But, but it's obviously. Finally, I mean, it's crazy. Australia, we are such it an is open crazy country. We, used, we, yeah. we used to be ahead for a very long yeah. time, and then we fell back. Then we fell behind. So, well, I, yeah. Ireland was the first country on earth to do it by popular vote. They Bra- literally Bra- said, Bra- them, yeah. "We don't want to handle this. Let's uh-huh. let all the people." And it was a landslide. Yeah, right. I, have fr- yeah. I have friends in New York, Los Angeles, San Francisco, Chicago who were flying back because they said no absentee ballots right? because they didn't want to sway the opinion. They said they wanted to use wow. Irish citizens. So the people who really thought it mattered to them flew back to Ireland, voted in. Two days later, Greenland goes, okay, let's do we'll it by popular vote. Boom, yeah. they fold yeah. right in. So right. now yeah. Australia's going in. <clears throat> yeah. However, on the popular vote idea, there's now a stand. There's an Australian gay couple 
named Nick and Sarah Jensen who said, if you pass gay marriage in Australia, we're getting divorced. No, they're not a gay couple. They're a straight, they're a straight, sorry, they're a straight couple. couple. They're a straight couple. Good. Yeah. Yes. Get divorced. Yeah. Well, she has a really bad perm, so she probably should. <laughs> <laughs> Get divorced and go see my hair. <laughs> <laughs> well, listen, listen to this. It's they're our, destroying marriage. Our view is that marriage is a fundamental order of creation, part of God's intimate story for human history. Marriage is the union of a man and a woman before community in the sight of God. Yes. Congratulations. Yeah. Yes. Everyone's yeah. like, good. Yeah. I was reading, and I was you. reading the comments after that article, and they're just like, you know, you, how asinine are you people? And I you do know. have to mention, it's an instinct article. I should say that I'm quoting Nigel Campbell's writing. Um, obviously not my own research. I didn't have time to make it to Australia. And What's the saying? You just do you, boo? Yeah, you just, yeah. You <laughs> just do you, Do whatever makes you happy. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. And do we're you, happy. And, in, yeah. <laughs> and in, straight, in straight Australian fashion, they don't lose any of the marriage rights. If you get divorced and you remain together in a domestic sort of way, you keep your, your tax rights, your, really? your visitation. Well, no, it's you, nothing changes my title. You don't have to get married and you still have those rights. Yeah. Well, Australia. that happens here too, but right. it's after seven years. I you think, have to prove it. I think it's uh, probably earlier than that. I think it's earlier than us. Wow. But yeah. If you're living with somebody, yeah. Isn't it good? I don't know what the actual it is good. <laughs> year is, but it's, uh, it's earlier than us. Hmm. Yeah. Well, our yeah. Supreme Court's deciding it. Do you think we would, would we, uh, you think the U.S. would pass it if it were popular? But you get to vote now. You're a U.S. citizen. Congratulations. I, hopefully I get to vote for my first female president. Ooh. That'd be great. I'm sure you will. Yeah. I'm sure you so will. Let's not assume. Let's not assume. Let's not assume because a lot can happen <laughs> in the next year. Yeah. Honey, we had Bush for two years, so let's not assume. <laughs> we had him for eight years, two terms. Eight years, yeah. So, yeah. Yeah. but I, I think we would. I do. I think we would pass it. I think um, as long as you. Took, I think we would pass it as long as you take the electoral college out of it. You know. Yeah. Because it would literally go coast to coast. Everyone would vote, but that's enough people to pass it popularly. There, um, there's a, I think there's a, a senator I just read today who wants. He's saying that if if we do this, if gay marriage becomes legal, if the Supreme Court, you know, passes it and all these court cases go through, that all these churches will shut down. He's like, you're literally shutting down churches, and it's going to be, you know, they'll they'll be arrested for not performing these marriages, which to me is kind of ridiculous. I I, well, I, I, I also don't think the law even goes there. I don't think the law says these well, churches have to do that. It. But see, that's where the slippery slope is because. When you say this, so many come, so many people come after churches by saying, "Well, you're bigoted for not doing this." Now, I'm not a religious person. I don't believe in religion in any way, shape, or form. But I do believe the church and state should not cross. So, if a church doesn't want to do it, they shouldn't have to do it. Exactly. Right. No. No, I think that's fair. But but <coughs> we're, I'm finding now a that Jewish church. Went but I'm finding now me, that even if that I want to marry a woman, there are gay people that are saying, "Well, you're bigoted, and you're you should you should do this. It's the I, law." Well, of course they're bigoted. Yeah, <laughs> I mean, well, that's the fine line. Yeah, that's it the, is. That's it's the, it's, it's kind of like area. a slippery because slope. Because then, there. on our part, we should be respectful. You know what I mean? Yes, it's like we're, yes. We're, we're asking for respect, so they should. So we should respect yeah. them. Just Absolutely. As, you know what I mean? And I think that's where, yeah. I'm well, gonna that, keep like my that eye whole cocked, pizza thing. I'm like, if they don't want to sell, <laughs> I'm like, if they don't want to sell me a fucking right. slice of pizza, I don't care. Like, yeah, let exactly. them. You know what I mean? It just doesn't matter. Like, you know what I mean? I'm not gonna make flowers. Like, Bitch, you're a florist. <laughs> <laughs> That's what you do. Yeah. Like, you know, we, I don't have to destroy them. You know what I mean? I it's know. like, whatever. well, that's why I, I actually Stay had an point. issue when I saw the articles everywhere. Like, Catholic Church takes big hit with Ireland gay marriage, and I was like. Right. No, no, they don't. Catholic Church already said is taking a big hit. Period. It doesn't yeah, matter. Catholic gay Church takes a big hit. It has it. nothing to do with gay marriage being passed. No, you know. But we're we're supposed to get a decision in uh, in uh, National Pride Month, which is June. Yeah. Our Supreme Court is supposed to hand down the law of the land. Yes or do no? Do you think that's on purpose? Yes. <laughs> oh, it is. Oh, absolutely. No. Yeah. I'd like to uh, think absolutely. yes. Yeah. But okay. Like, okay. I mean, it's June or October. Right. October open session though, so they're probably not going to do it then. You yeah. know, we've been thinking all summer about this. It's a go. <laughs> While we were laying next to the pool, yeah. I've, thought, I've thought long and I've thought long and hard for you. The last can't four swim hours with us. I was reading through. <laughs> Not Justice, looking at the ads. Justice Sotomayor was that you can't swim with us having a daiquiri, and she I thought love it if, uh, all Ruth these was there. folks should get married. <laughs> mm-hmm. You were at you can't swim with us. I was. It was so photo. good. It was so good. Thanks. Did you meet a, a young lad mm-hmm. there? No. No. <laughs> what is dating like around. on tour? Have you have non-existent you for me? Non-existent. It's for you. it's hard. You know, you kind of have to be fair to the person that you know. If you were to be you know wanting something, you have to be fair to that person who's stuck back here, or and fair to yourself too, because. 
you can miss out on a lot of opportunities. You Is know, it just so um, sexual on tour? I was like, like no, no, it's not even. Other. No, no, not at all. <laughs> not like, at all. We're really touch one. <laughs> we're a very friendly, like just friends, you know, basis tour. Um, but it's 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 yeah. I I tried to do it a few times of just seeing people while I was away, but it kind of that's all you think about while you're on tour you don't enjoy being there you're, yeah. not in the pr- you're not in the moment you're not present and you know there's little functions that happen every now and again and if you've promised I'll Skype you tonight you know and that happens and it's like World War 3 comes up and it's over what a little like you know thing that you want to go and enjoy with the rest of the car so it's just like those little things of just being fair to yourself and the person that was right. stuck here so I said no good for you yeah yeah enjoy it good. enjoy the ride yeah, totally just, absolutely yeah, yeah. yeah. and you, you have know, to there's an it, is a, it, it ends you know there's a light at the end of the tunnel it's not like i just chose right. this tour that's going to last my whole life and i have to figure out a way to deal with it you know what i mean it's you right, know, right. so what is the arc end. what is the arc for a dancer when Janet Jackson asked you to be on their tour, <laughs> I read that in the really article. Excited about so that. <laughs> look, oh, really? look, her I'm asshole's excited. puckering. <laughs> she's like, who? No, but I'm excited that she's coming back. It's very exciting. Of course, she's coming mm. back. Did you put that in the article on purpose? No, like, no, I didn't. Maybe, <laughs> maybe her people will read it and ask me to audition. <laughs> no, 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 no. You're I a liar. She, no, I think she's already had some auditions. Well, let me tell you. You know that when she comes back, I, I think it was you yeah, that told me when you told me it was going to be like Gaga. It might have even been a meme I saw on your wall or your wall, but it's like. Uh, Christina, Gaga, oh, Brittany, they're all like, oh, shit. And it's just <laughs> Janet, like, mm. yeah. it's very, like, bitches back. Here she comes. I was like, let me yeah. school you She's in female performance. Vengeance, too. Oh, oh, she is? Exciting. Yeah, oh, God, okay. yeah. Angry. She started her own label. Perfect. Yeah, well, they gave her her own label. Titan? Or I, don't, title I don't know or what it's called. <laughs> no, not Title. Is that what that thing is that's, that's going under? Yeah. Jay-Z's? Online, well, you've heard about the that, right? Thing to come out of the Jackson family now. So oh, the title, it. the title. Thank you. Yes, the title which thing. is is doing horribly. I didn't even know. Yeah, I didn't really, know. really, really mad. <laughs> really, really mad. Really, really mad. Well, I mean, <laughs> I'm, Sorry, I'm, I'm I'm noticed. I'm known for this, so I'm going to completely shift and slam gears around. Uh, before we get completely away from our Pride episode, I do want to give a shout out and a thank you to all the gay men and women who were involved in the Stonewall riots back in 1969 that mm-hmm. propelled us to where we are today so we can actually talk openly on television and radio about getting gay marriage. Mm-hmm. Um, so I want to make sure I got that in. It's on our little list here. And something I have to talk about because my office where I work, which I can't name, is all a buzz about <laughs> it. The Duggar situation that is mm. going on. Oh, my. Do you know they are? No. Tell okay. me. Tell me in. <laughs> They're this family. They have 19 children. Cool. I mean, her vagine is just a mess. <laughs> um, and they have a reality show about the, this couple and their 19 children. Most are grown. One of them has come out to say that he molested his younger sisters while they were sleeping at one point, yes? Four of his younger sisters and one other female. Yeah. Well, he was 14 or 15. Yeah. So his parents have been interviewed about this. They had a, a what was it, on Fox News, of course, mm-hmm. or on Fox News, <laughs> giving this interview and literally took like no what's the word i'm looking for didn't uh basically like saying it's it's fine no responsibility no responsibility that's okay it's all right and then there's still (laughs) a young child in the house so after this all came to light you had dhs department of health and safety or sanity or whatever the fuck (laughs) um in washington county where they are uh has now got to do visits to the house because they live on like this compound that happened today there's yeah so there's technically um, they live uh, on a compound. It sounds like a cult. Well, there's like right. a child. There's like <laughs> a you know. There's a child molester on the property, so they have to come in and do these Whoa. weekly visits. They yeah. There you go. Yeah, there's, there. Yeah. Thanks, Jake. There's you the imagine? whole younger family. So hold on. See the creepy balding bastard in the plaid <laughs> shirt in the back. <laughs> the one that's just peeking yeah, over. Yeah, he's the yeah the one that's peeking over at that youngster. He he d- he's the one that diddles young girls. So DHS shows up, Department of Health and Safety, uh, and uh, they deny access to one of the still minor females. And so they called the police. Denied access to what, their home? To a visitation. Yeah. Because they're supposed to visit one. Denied access on this visitation. So then the police were called. And that's where the story ends, because anytime there's an investigation involving a child or a sexual assault of a minor, they can't talk about it. So this thing's heating up in, it's not going to go well. And these people are so outspoken of gay marriage. Gay rights, yeah, they're the super family. uber Christian, by the way. Ooh, it's like yeah. a beyond. And they also claim that homosexuality, that uh, child molesters are all homosexuals. Mm-hmm. This is pre this their is son they being tri- child molesters. This is where they trip themselves this. up because they were such outspoken bigots mm-hmm. against the gays. Is that when they when their first when the first crack appeared in whatever yeah. uh, facade they were showing, 
um, the the media just went after it. Well, they're just yeah. they're just like the Graham family. They're just like Billy and Franklin Graham, who are also in the fucking news because now Wells Fargo is supporting. You know, they had lesbians in their Wells Fargo ad and stuff like that. So they said we're pulling all our money out, which is like three hundred and ten million dollars. They make one hundred and seven million last year, um, and so they're pulling their money out and they put it in BB and T Bank, which is. Uh, they said that's a good solid bank was their quote and uh bbt bank is the one who funded and supported miami's first pride in 2009 so i think that's that's a good pride note to Uh, end on we're gonna send it off to commercial here and when we come back we're gonna do some this bitch and uh some shameless butt plugs you're listening to the hen house on t radio v I thought that it would be easier than this. I thought my heart had grown colder. But the warmth of your kiss I can't dismiss. My past has left me bruised. I ain't hiding from the truth. When the truth won't let me lie right next to you. You are back on Hen House. Uh, that was Disclosure. We are now going to be doing... I liked it. I liked you like that? Yeah, that was Yeah, nice. it's good. That's I good like stuff. the singer. Anything yeah, I can a lot. jam in my chair to? <laughs> <laughs> they kind of have it right now, Disclosure. They're, they're kind of cute as shit, too. They're, we, uh, they're adorable, yeah. yeah. I'd say that. Um, we're going to do some This Bitch, yeah? Yeah, let's do some yeah. This Bitch. I've, I've got a This Bitch. This Bitch! God, I love Jake. He's so good. <laughs> Um, last week it was the who's the short black guy from like the seventies shows um, Gary Coleman. Gary Coleman, and he was like, <laughs> oh it was like God. a Gary Coleman. He was like this bitch under it. He's a genius. <laughs> Jake's a genius. Um, all right, so my I this it was bitch, Gary Coleman. This bitch, I was like, wow. <laughs> Gary, Coleman's Gary Coleman. Coleman? Th- I ran into him. Uh, no, my boyfriend is uh, this week's this bitch for me. Okay. So you two know, you three know that I'm big into sports. I like my sports. I like to do a little over under spread, all that other stuff. So it's normally a, a shit show in my living room when the Ohio State Buckeyes are on, the New York Giants, the Yankees. What are these words you're saying? I know, right? <laughs> what are they? I don't know. I normally, I'm we are homosexually challenged. I monopolize the television. <laughs> and I've got him so trained that when they score a touchdown, I go, oh, H, and he's in the other room, I O. Like, that's our little Buckeye champ. But I monopolize the apartment. So we're sitting on Shocking. the couch, and I'm, like, eating, and I'm trying to talk to him and this and that. Oh, what do you want to do? This, I've got work and all these other things. And he's watching Sex in the City reruns like back to back to back to back to back on the Wii network or something or oxygen and i'm trying to talk and he finally just goes Shh, this is like my sports yeah and i just went for duh this game in this bitch <laughs> <laughs> and that was uh my week's this bitch is my yeah, boyfriend duh. nick smith yeah, that this is like sports bitch. yeah absolutely <laughs> that the golden girls you can't, can't um, touch that that's my butt but guys. literally absolutely. i mean hand hand up <laughs> like locked in and he was like this is like my sport. <laughs> and I was like, the Miami Golden I Girls. Knew what that meant. It's my team. That's how I used to fight with my dad. Re- watching the Oscars was my grand final. Oh, that's the Super Bowl for us. We were like, yeah. yeah. <laughs> that is the Super Bowl. All right, it's now time for a shameless butt plugs. And uh, our party promoter extraordinaire, why don't you take a look at a shameless Well, first I want to say thanks for coffee. We're all buzzed from this. Buzzed. Buzz. Buzz. I'm talking yeah. a mile a minute. Uh-huh. <laughs> so <laughs> good. Uh, my shameless butt plug is uh, I have two parties. One uh, is the outdoor roller rink called Thunderground, which is housed at <laughs> so fun. Uh, Pride LA. There you go. There's it's, all um, your info. That's all there you, you go. Hex uh, Hector, Honey Dijon. Yes. 
Friday, Saturday, Sunday. Um, it's a completely external roller rink, purposely built for the park. So mm-hmm. um, they're having gayscape uh, for the kids as well. So if there's any parents out there that want to bring their kids on, I think Saturday, um, that will be amazing. And yeah. Beautiful. Oh, yeah. Lovely. Fun. Mm-hmm. What are you like plugging, dear? What are we selling? Well, I'm going to plug myself. Yes. Why not? You know, get out, buy the Instinct magazine. I think it's finally in the stores. It took me, uh, I think, a week. I was going to the Circus of Books every day and being oh. the, the creepy guy mm-hmm. that was walking in mm-hmm. and then walking straight with out. With a magazine. With I'm nothing in my head. <laughs> <laughs> Except someone else's jizz. <laughs> No, I would, you know, going up to the desk and like, do Make you sure have the new instinct? I was like, oh, God, go away. Make sure you put it right next to Vanity Fair. With <laughs> no, you <Yeah>. should. <laughs> Seriously. Well, it was kind of through the back, and I kind of got a few, you know, got a few out, and I put them at the front. Like, that doesn't You're spot. Put it near Caitlin. Yeah, yeah okay. no, absolutely. I know, right. Right. Sell out like right. that. <laughs> so get out and buy that, and I'll also see you at the Thunderground. Yeah, Possibly yeah, on yeah. the floor, because I can't really skate. Great butt plug. Perfect. Yeah. And Miss Elvis? Um, I will not be at Thunderground. I'm busy, um, but I will be. <laughs> <laughs> doing my makeup. <laughs> During Friday, we'll be at Tortilla Republic on Sunday. And then this Thursday, we start a new party, Billy, Francesca, and myself. Oh, we're I'm doing, so excited for this. Um, sink or Swim, SOS, which is a lip sync battle. <laughs> Just get up there. It's like karaoke. You can get up and do whatever song you want to do, um, lip syncing. We have costumes. If you want to put costumes oh, on, something like that. that sounds so, so yeah, it's going to be a lot. Good. Fun. Of fun. Well, that's a oh, at Revolver. A Revolver, Sorry. yes. Perfect. In West yeah. It's like Dub Smash, but live. Yeah, but exactly. Live. Yes. But live. Yeah, yeah totally. And costumes. <laughs> and costumes. <laughs> oh, it's so great. Well, I want to thank Lockie very much for being on. Thank you. Yay. You guys. It's very fun. Very fun Yay. to have you. Um, I want to thank Coffee, uh, the low acid, stomach friendly, cold brewed, alkaline water, dairy free, mm. vegan, organic, fair trade coffee bean, gluten free, soy free, nut free <laughs> coffee <laughs> in a bottle. Did you say, did you say yes. meth free or <laughs> sure? Meth free. I, uh, meth free. Uh, I want to thank Bar Ten, uh, located in WeHo. www.bartenweho.com. Uh, everything's under ten dollars except their bottomless champagne. They've got ten great cocktails on their list. Uh, I want to thank Jake, our wonderful producer. Thanks, uh, David. Our, our satellite producer, my mom, Anne, says, watch the Cavs tomorrow night against the Golden State Warriors. Go Cavs. <laughs> that <laughs> is all we have here at the Hen House. Catch us next week, uh, 6 p.m., and we will have Wendy Ho and a special reality star guest, possibly. Uh, Wendy Ho is in the studio next week. Yes, thank we you very will. much. Yeah, Enjoy will. your oh, evening. Yeah, he confirmed. Yay. <laughs> Money.